Hey everybody, uh, so today I got two packages from two different publishers. I got one from uh, Jack Prince and Greco Printing, which uh, most people know right now as uh, Comics Wellspring. Comics Wellspring is actually a division of Greco Printing. Uh, so I'm going to do one of these, and I think since I've spoken already a little bit longer about this one, uh, we're going to do Comics Wellspring. So let's check it out. Okay, so I'm actually really excited to see the samples from this company because a friend of mine actually printed through Comics Wellspring recently after they ran into some trouble with Kablam. And uh, Kablam just wasn't following through, and so they pulled the plug and went with a different printer on the fly just to see. Oh, this is awesome. I'm already uh, ecstatic about the samples that they sent because they sent comics. They sent... Uh, what appears to be finished comics, which is, that's already even cooler. I got some comics to read. Sweet. So we've got uh, Red, Red Angel. Amy Vital is Red Angel. Very cool. Um, so anyways, just a little bit of a backstory. Um, my buddy was doing a Kickstarter, and it was like down to the wire. He really needed to ship, and Kablam just stopped communicating, which is... Pretty typical, like I'd say the average amount of time it takes for them to get back to people is about four days, which is ridiculous. Um, so he finally pulled, pulled the plug and went with Comics Wellspring and the quality was better, the turnaround was better, the cost was at least about the same, if not a little, you know, more or less. Um, and so it got a lot of us uh, really interested in this company for uh, printing. So here, let's check out what they sent me. I really dig this particular version. Now, I'm sure each of these three are going to be slightly different. This feels like comics to me. There's a lot of comics that get printed now that are on much, much thicker, glossier paper, and uh, and this is nice. It's, it is just uh, maybe a gram thicker than what I'm actually after, but it's not bad, and for modern printing, you know, this really holds a lot of ink. This is really nice. The printing quality is great. There's a little bit of grain in the blacks, but you know what? I've never read a comic where there hasn't been, so that's not really a problem. Yeah, the paperweight feels good. The colors are nice and rich, um, which is uh, a good thing. I like deep, rich, saturated colors, so it's nice to see that they're able to do that. Good amount of contrast too because we have some saturated colors and some very desaturated colors. The saddle stitching is pretty nice. There's a couple areas where you can see that it's not, you know, 100% perfect. There's that line there. We'll see how the other ones uh, turn out. I mean, that's kind of expected um, that there's going to be a little bit of shifting. It doesn't necessarily have to be perfect. And then this is the ad that would actually be on the back of the book. I think it's like 5 to 10% off. This says that this was um, standard size, standard covers, 80 pound gloss cover, 60 pound uncoated text, full color, 24 interior pages. This person is choosing to sell this comic for $3.75 in the US and $4 in Canada. So that's uh that's that's pretty awesome for uh for Comics Wellspring to to send me these three. So um, that's cool. They really want uh they really want their customers to see exactly what they're capable of doing. Okay, so that was printed on the front. It said exactly what this was. Now these don't have the sample on there. So let's see if these are different. This this cover is definitely different. This is gloss. This one is matte. Uh, is it a little thicker? I can't really tell if it's thicker or not. Let's let's check it out here. Pages are a little different. This has a gloss coating for sure. Obviously, if that's what you're going for, that you know it, it makes everything print a lot. Uh, smoother I'd say like all the grain from the the lack of the gloss coating is gone that's very uh, solid black the color is obviously richer anytime you add a gloss coat to anything it makes the colors feel more saturated and, and really pop more there's not a whole lot of like uh, it's not like raised as much as some other printers like sometimes when you print a lot of heavy black you can almost kind of feel it 
you can still feel it, but it's not so noticeable. Okay, so this is definitely a thicker paper. That was definitely a, a slightly better quality. The paper thickness is a bit too thick for my liking for a floppy comic. Um, I would definitely choose this paper, though, if it were a, uh, a trade. I would definitely pick this paper. This is actually really similar to the kind of paper that you would get in a trade from like Marvel or DC. Okay, so this one, this cover is nice. This is reminiscent of, of the 90s for me right here. This cover is very thick. I feel like you could put some gold embossing on that and some red foil or something and it would be straight out of the 90s. Now there used to be like some uh, uh, high quality kind of uh, special edition sort of comics that would come out with covers like this. Alright, so this is their black and white. Um, right off the bat I'm gonna say their black is not that black. It's a little gray. Um, but again, I don't know if that's... that could be the art too. It could just be that there's not a lot of contrast. It looks like they may have just hit desaturate on, uh, on their colors and called it a day. It's not necessarily meant to be black and white art. Um, but the paper quality, again, is, is nice. I like this. This is uh, close to... it almost feels like a almost thinner kind of copy paper, if not about copy paper um, thickness, maybe maybe 60 pounds, maybe 55, some, somewhere around there. Um, but it looks good. It's got a nice feel to it. Um, and for black and white books, I'd say this is uh, pretty good, actually. Pretty good quality. You can see that line of the other artwork, but I see that a lot, even in professional comics, so it, I'm not, like, counting it against it, but this is, uh, it's the first time it's ever really popped out to me, so that could be due to a number of different things. I wouldn't consider it a fault. All right, so I gotta say, as far as samples go, outstanding. This is great to actually get real comics that you can hold and feel and, and flip through and see what the quality is that you're gonna be getting from them. Um, the, the plus side was this sample. This was probably my favorite because it had all the information of exactly what it was that I was looking at. I really wish that that was the same case for these because now, what if I like this? I don't know what to order. I don't know what stock this is. I don't know what coating this is. I can assume it's gloss, obviously, but still. Um, one thing I'll say, I'm not, I am not a fan of the thick cover. I just, I'm not... I don't like it. Um, and that's not a fault on this printer either. That's just a trend. That seems to be the way of things these days. I really like the interiors though. This is really nice. Um, the, 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 the binding, it actually is pretty flat, but it's a little bit bowed, um, like a lot of comics are that are printed from places like this. It doesn't close all the way. It wants to stay open. And that does kind of bother me. I'm looking for something a little more old school, something that, that stays closed, that's flat, that when you flip through it, you almost can't tell where the staple is. Um, here's another one that's, you know, again, this is newsprint, so this is a little bit different, but this is a little bit more current, and this is closer to uh, exactly what I'm looking for as far as paper quality and thickness goes. It's very, very thin, but, you know, it it stays flat. It's very compressed. For my taste and what I'm looking for in a printer, this is what I'm looking for. I want to get something as close to this as possible. And you can see that the pages actually do compare um, as far as the quality goes. These are much, much thinner than these, but this is still pretty nice. I, I, I have to say, like, the slightly thicker pages doesn't bother me too much, but um, if this is as low as they can go, this is uh, 60 pound, I would definitely prefer to get closer to, to, to 50 than 60. I'd say 60 is my absolute uh, maximum thickness for the pages that I would want. Quality is important, you know, but at the same time so is cost and making things as cost effective for the, the customer and uh, the, the creator is super important. So I feel like this is probably closest to what I would get from Comics Wellspring and it's it's okay. I would I would do this. Uh, right now, this is good. I would say this is a, a really good uh, showcase of what they're capable of, and I, again, really appreciate that they sent comics for their examples instead of like a, a booklet of a bunch of paper samples. Although, 
I gotta say, it would have been nice if we got comics and paper samples. That would have been great. But hey, I'm thankful for what I got, and you know what? If I had to choose between this and Comblam, I would choose this any day. I'd, I'd say this is a really great example of how to do business, how to be responsive and communicate. I mean, just a little bit of communication that I've already had with this printer has been great. And the fact that my buddy was able to order uh, comics in a pinch and that they, you know, communicated with lightning speed and that they turned out great. That's bonus points too. So uh, let's check out some of the specs. Okay, right off the bat, this is their front page and you, you go to this place and immediately you can tell this place prints comics and I like that. If I'm going to be printing comics, I want to print through a place that looks like they specialize in comics and this definitely gives me that feeling so all right moving on let's see how do we order stuff from here i'm going to assume we'll click comic books how about that and look at that okay so you click comic books that's where it takes you immediately takes you to the order form where you can get your comics and so they got a nice little picture here of a stack of comics they've got reviews here of different customer experiences and stuff which is pretty bold if you ask me to, to have customer reviews directly on the page where you're about to order is a pretty bold move anyway so let's see what we've got as far as options so here the the first thing they want to know is your target delivery date which is pretty neat enter the latest date you must have your order this is a little different from some of the other printers that I've been looking at. Um, there's there's a couple that at least offer kind of guaranteed uh, turnaround times. It looks like maybe this place gets a lot of volume, and so they don't want to promise you anything if they can't deliver. So that's cool, you know. So you would just type in whenever you need them by. I don't need mine until uh, way later, almost next year. So I should be good to go. <laughs> All right sizes now this is the thing that's a little different from the uh, previous place that we looked at they actually have standard comic sizes real comic sizes so uh, they have your standard 6.625 by 10.25 that's uh, modern american comic size they've got manga at 5.5 and 7.75 they've got a magazine at 8 by 10 and a half and they've got custom sizes so you can specify your size in the notes so just like the previous place uh, printing express i believe it was um you can get your golden age cut or silver age cut or any kind of cut that you want um as long as it uh fits within the dimensions of 9 by 12 um if it's that or below you can get a custom cut for your comic so if you got something crazy in mind or, or specific they can do that and i like that that's that's really cool cover they've got quite a few options here well quite a few was maybe uh maybe i jumped the gun they have a few options uh and they also have the option to print self covers which I'm a big fan of. Very cool that they offer self covers. Uh, surprisingly, not everywhere does. So that's a that's a cool thing. All right, interior pages. Uh, we've only got two options. About as heavy as you want, and then a lot heavier <laughs> in terms of paper. But you know, we just looked at them together. You know, and so even their thickest paper isn't too bad. So uh, interiors, we got two options: full color and black and white. Interior count. Uh, this printer is really trying to get the most out of their uh, reams of paper and so they don't allow you to just type in any number but they all increase in increments of fours which is uh, kind of a standard for um, for printing presses it's just the way that things work with the way that they're set up to print and pagination and all that um, basically all you need to know is that page counts for comics need to be in uh, divisible by four uh, so they also offer an ad um, a little bit unique to some other places they allow you to determine where that ad goes so you could choose the back cover the inside back cover or you can give them an interior page which is kind of neat i actually kind of prefer that if i'm going to do an ad that looks like a good place to do it and put it inside uh, quantity discount level. I like that they lay this out here very plain and simply. Some places convolute this and they, they have you typing in quantities and doing math to figure out when the uh, the price changes. Here they tell you flat out right away. Between 25 to 250 they're all going to cost the same. 250 to 500 etc etc and you choose. You choose right off the bat what your discount level is going to be. You can do reorders here. They'll keep your stuff on file so that's always nice or you could choose uh, new artwork that you're providing a new file uh, very cool 
proofs. They offer uh, two options, digital or hard copy, and obviously no proof if you don't want any proof at all. Standard turnaround is 14 days. You can rush it for anywhere up to two to six days. So two to six days, meaning it could get there in two days or it could get there in six days. The guarantee is somewhere within that. So the fastest you can get anything from this place is going to be in about a week. So uh, that's something to consider. And then of course, how did you hear about us? I'm a returning customer. I heard about you from Facebook, Google, uh, a friend. And there's no place to actually type in who that friend is, so that's unfortunate. I was expecting some kind of discount or something like that for, uh, not for myself, but for a friend who may have referred me, uh, which incidentally there there is. I'm actually here because a friend just had his comics printed through Comics Wellspring, and they turned out awesome. Well, anyways, down here, I like that they do this. You, you've got your quantity, you've got your total that you're going to pay, but they also tell you what that's going to be per copy. Now, yeah, it's easy to just pull out your calculator and do a quick little bit of math to figure that out for yourself but you know what I'm happy that they took the time to do it for me I think that's really great here we go uh, the description here will tell you what this order entails the specs there we go that was the word that I was looking for and that's pretty much that for their order page now as far as contact information let's see contact boom their phone number is right at the top as well. Another good business decision. All companies uh, should have their, their contact information visible on the front page, and especially they should have a phone number. This means that if you've got a problem with your order or you have a question about your order, you can call them. And you can talk to a person in real time and figure it out. You don't have to wait for uh, emails or some convoluted messaging system. You can talk directly to somebody. Now, I have not called them myself, so I haven't actually reached out to to make that phone call because like the last place I didn't have to all the information was here it was very clear and straightforward I uh, I, I reached out to them through uh, email to request samples and they responded within a day they were very kind and they they followed up to let me know when it was shipped even and they sent me some great samples uh, we just looked at them they they sent me actual comics that's that's really great. Uh, so let's uh, give them our due diligence here. And actually, I want to point out that they also do um, paperback books. They do posters, um, which I don't think they didn't send me a, a poster. No, that was a different place. But uh, uh, so they do posters and the poster page looks like you, you ordered about the same way. They do flyers. Um, this is kind of the cool stuff here. They, they do retractable banner stands, which is pretty neat. So you can get your banner stand and your books printed from the same place. And that's not actually too bad of a price. $200, it's not too bad for, for what that is. Um, tablecloths, check that out. You can get your own tablecloth, so you don't have to use like a generic cloth. You can get some branding done on that thing. Look at that. Look at how happy these people are with their Thiessen Insurance brand. I, it looks like they're, uh, they're at a conference in a bathroom, apparently. But hey, you know what? The tablecloth looks awesome. Um, so, all right. They also offer you some specifications and templates as well, which is always good. I love seeing this. I would much rather use a template provided to me by the printer than to give them one that I've had to make myself and hope that they understand what it is and, and how to use it. This is great. As long as you follow their guidelines, everything will be good to go. So that's good. They've got poster specs, they've got the banner specs, they've got all the specs right there. Um, reward program, I don't know, create and store an account to start earning rewards. So I would like to learn more. I might as well, right, since we're here. Okay, so, all right, you know what this looks like is when you purchase things from Comics Wellspring, you're gonna earn, you're gonna earn points, and those points will eventually add up and earn you coupons. So you can get 15 bucks off, 30 bucks off, 50 bucks off, and that sounds pretty awesome. Uh, you can also share with your friends and you both earn rewards. You get, they get a 5% off coupon, you get a $10 off coupon. That's pretty cool. So that's the website in a nutshell. Obviously it is super easy to use. Very, very, very user friendly. It has all the information that you need. Look at that. It's even got their, their address right up there too. So if you, for whatever reason, need to send them anything, uh, you could and you wouldn't have to, uh, to ask about all kinds of uh, crazy stuff. 
So that's that. Now I'm actually going to go and dig a little bit deeper into the cost of things and we're going to do a quick segment where I show you roughly what it would cost to get the minimum amount of books, kind of a mid-range amount of books, and a larger quantity of books and, uh, and then we'll wrap this up. Okay, so like last time, we're trying to get the best possible outcome at the lowest possible price point. So I'm going to get the bare minimum on everything, except that I'm going to be printing color instead of black and white. So as always, definitely keep in mind that printing in color is usually roughly about twice as much as printing in black and white. But uh, for, for my purposes and for the purposes of this video, uh, we're going to go with color, okay? But otherwise, everything else is bare minimum. So that said, we're looking at standard size. Essentially, the specs on this comic, and they were uh, 6.625 by 10.25 inches. I know it's a weird size, but this is just what it is. We're also going to go for the 60 pound uncoated text. I've checked that is the absolute thinnest paper that they have. A little disappointing for me, but I imagine for most people that's not going to be a big deal. Full color, and we're going to do 20 pages of story and uh, four pages for our uh, covers, exteriors and interior covers. That tends to be what comics are these days. It tends to be 20 pages of story, and then I think it's like, uh, it's 32 pages total. I don't want to do the math right now, but there's a lot of ads in between all of that. So we're also going with no ad on the back. I can't find a handle on exactly what percentage it saves you, but um, it wasn't a big difference in this uh, example that I just did here. Uh, one other difference from this that we're going to do is instead of the 80 pound gloss cover, we're going to do a self cover. Self cover is when the cover is the same paper quality and finish as the interior pages. Um, quick note, that might actually solve the issue of the uh, the, the bowing here, the, the comic that doesn't want to stay closed. This could be caused purely by this thicker paper because this is much harder to fold than these are. So doing a self cover may actually make this a little bit flatter. It's a shame they didn't send an example of everything that they had to offer. They only sent me three when they had a fourth option. So it's a little strange that they would send three, but not four, if there's only four. <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, either way, I'm, I'm grateful that they sent anything at all. Some printers don't, and some printers will charge you for samples. How ridiculous is that? So anyways, those are our specs. Uh, and as far as price goes, we're gonna look at a range. We're gonna look at the absolute minimum that you can buy from the company, and we're gonna look at a range of 500 books and a range of 1,000 books. That way it gives us a nice kind of overview of what we're looking at for cost and what we're looking at for savings if we buy more. So they work in increments of 250, but their minimum is 25 comics. So what I mean by that is that from 25 copies to 250 copies, it will cost the same per issue. To get savings, you have to jump to 251 to 500, and from 501 to 750, and from 751 to 1000, etc. Those are their different price brackets. I am seeing, and this is typical of a lot of printers actually, that after 1000, that's it. The cost is the cost. So you're not gonna get any kind of special deal if you order 5,000 or 10,000. The price point is gonna remain the same from that point on. So all that said, from 25 copies to 250 copies, the price per book is $2.45. That's pretty good. It really goes to show that Comics Wellspring is focused on comics and they understand that the people creating them also need to make a profit. And so they've managed to get their price point down low enough to where you could. Uh, if you sold these for a typical cost of an indie comic, which is around five bucks, that's not unheard of, you could make about 250 an issue, which is good. That's a good profit margin. It's not perfect, but it's good. Now for the next price point, we have to bump it up to 251, but as I said, we're going to go from the lowest you could possibly get, then to 500, then to 1000. So uh, just know that whether you bought 251 or you bought 500, the price per book is going to remain the same. 
And so for that bracket, the cost per book drops down to $222, which is a little bit better. You can get 500 books for just over $1,000. Considering how popular comics are on Kickstarter, that actually shouldn't be too difficult to do with the right advertising, marketing, and campaign strategies, and all that stuff that we're not going to cover in here. But $1,000 seems to be on the, the low end of most comic book Kickstarters that I've seen. There's, of course, there's some that are much lower, but even still, there's some that are much, 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 much higher. So uh, this is good news. Okay, last but not least, we've got a thousand copies. Now, this is a little bit of a, a silly situation that I'm in here because they actually have a different price point after that. So they've got from 750 to 1,000 copies, but then they have a thousand plus price point. And so um, it's, it's significant. It's not a whole ton uh, of savings in comparison, but uh, just for argument's sake, I'm going to go with the maximum. So we're looking at the maximum amount of savings that you can get from this place. And it's on, on an order, like if the difference between ordering a thousand books and ordering a thousand and one is a hundred dollars. So if you're going to order a thousand books, order one more, save yourself a hundred bucks. And so this means that at a thousand and one and up, you're looking at a buck seventy-two an issue, which is awesome. That's actually a really solid price point for creators to make a profit, a dare I say, livable profit, depending on how much you market yourself and what kind of distribution you have and, and how many books you're selling. But uh, that's a good price to be at. And to get a thousand and one copies, it's only going to cost you just over seventeen hundred dollars, which again. I've seen Kickstarters go for much, much more, so it's not unreasonable. I would recommend this place just on the price point alone compared to the quality of the book, and of course you gotta talk about the, 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 the promptness of communication. I sent them an email requesting samples, and they got back to me the very next day. And they didn't just get back to me, they thanked me for sending them an email, and they told me that not only would they send me samples, but that they were already in the mail. Done deal. So. That's pretty awesome. Uh, right now, I'm really leaning in favor of this place from the two that I've looked at. Um, not counting Kablam because I've already had an experience with working with Kablam, so um, I'm debating whether I even cover Kablam, to be honest. Uh, so anyways, Comics Wellspring, check them out. They're a division of Greco uh, Printing and Imaging. You can find them easily by going to comics with an X, wellspring.com. Uh, again, Put in your specifications for your project needs and uh, give it a look. Uh, so anyways, I hope that this was helpful for you in getting a quick overview of this printer. If you liked what you saw, go check them out. Uh, if you're still on the fence, then stay tuned. i got a lot more of these to come. Until next time, peace.